Hello everyone, welcome to Debugger's Den. This is Khushi and today we will be discussing about how you can prepare for TCS code beta. How you can, you know, crack this exam at your very first attempt. All kinds of tips and tricks that you should follow, the strategies, the exam preparation that you should do to crack it. So let me tell you one thing, TCS offers two packages via this program of theirs. The first package that they offer is of TCS Ninja Roll and it is uh, like approximate 3.2 lakh package. The second offer, the second role, job role that they offer via this exam is of TCS Digital, which is uh, around 7 lakhs offer. So yeah, as a fresher, if you get TCS Digital, this is a kind of good deal because you know, as a fresher, a 7 lakh package is not bad. Secondly, even if you get 3.2 lakh package, you at least have a job security in your hand, right? Let's move. Let's move into uh, the next steps that you should do. I think you all have already uh, seen our previous video, which is about how you can register for this exam and uh, like what all are the uh, process what all are the steps that you should follow to register for this exam and that that is a complete step by step procedure that we have explained in our previous video so if you have not checked that out i would recommend you to check that out first and then come into this video which is about exam preparation so without wasting any time i would dive deep into the strategy so firstly we'll be uh, discussing about the format that uh, tcs code vita is following for so many years and this year too so the format would be that there would be three rounds first round would be the pre-qualifier round second round would be a qualifier round and third round would be a grand finale now uh the pre-qualifier and qualifier round are as you all know that it is in online mode while the grand finale round will be conducted either online or in India. So uh, like uh, for so many years when like when COVID was not there and everything was very normal, grand finale usually used to occur offline in India. And since this time uh, there is an uncertainty, so they've mentioned it, it as online slash India. So in case if uh, the situations would be good enough, they'll be conducting it offline in India. Otherwise it will be conducted online as it happened last year. So the timeline, tentative timeline has also been given by TCS itself. And for pre-qualifier round, it's January. For qualifier, it's February and grand finale will be occurring in April most probably. And all of this will be done in 2022. So yeah, for this season of TCS Code Vita 2022 to 2025 batches are allowed. And once again, I would say that registrations are ending very soon. So in case you have not your, not got yourself registered, I would recommend you to register yourself as soon as possible. Now, uh, there are certain things that, uh, you know, uh, TCS has mentioned on their website also that there's a mock beta that would be conducting that they would be conducting in December 2021. So this mock beta is nothing but just a mock round of code beta. So those who have registered, I would recommend you to obviously give the mock beta so that you'll get an idea of how, what kind of questions they ask, what, what kind of topics they cover, although I'll be telling you about the topics and all. But still, if you give a mock, you, you kind of, you know, get into the environment. So I would recommend you to give mock beta in December. Secondly, the round one of zone one will be occurring in January and round one of zone two will be occurring again in January. Uh, sorry, round one of zone two, yeah, and round one of zone one. Both of this will be occurring in January 2022. Now, round two will be happening in February and the grand finale will be occurring in April. So this is the timeline and um, all of you must be already knowing about this, but I've still, you know, mentioned it again. Now we'll talk about the exam strategy. So the round one, the round one in TCS Code Vita has six programming questions and you have a window of six hours within a single day okay so there are six hours for which you can you know give give your test like once you you know uh, log in into the system you'll have to you'll you'll have a continuous six hours within which you can you know submit your questions submit your solutions to the questions and you know score your marks 
the second round will be again a programming round and it will again have eight programming questions and it will have eight hours then the round three will be having 10 programming questions and 10 hours so accordingly for like you know we can estimate an hour for each question but uh like as it is said that not every question takes takes an hour so you know you can adjust your timing accordingly and you can you know solve more and more questions but i would say that six questions in six hours is not a bad deal they have given enough time to you guys to you know solve your questions and submit the answers so six questions in six hours is a great deal so moving on uh, you can either use c plus java python ruby php Perl, anything that you want to to submit your questions so all those who are great at java can go for it those who are great at c plus plus can go for it those who are perfect at python can go for it others who are great at ruby can go for it so there's no you know there's there's no bar of uh, language it's just that you should know the logic you should know how to solve the question that's more important because they have offered a lot of languages to answer the questions now moving on the more major topics the the this is the you know the the most awaited part of the whole video everybody must be looking for this so now what are the major topics that you need to prepare for tcs code beta okay so i'll tell you what number theory stacks queues arrays strings stl collections trees graphs and algorithms now let me break it into questions now you can expect one question from number theory that is for sure there will be one question from number theory so i think you should prepare number theory very well because you know you can crack one entire question if you know number theory so number theory is not very tough there are multiple youtubers who have taught about them multiple youtube channels multiple videos that you can you know actually look through if you do not know number theory as of now so prepare number theory you can expect one question from number theory now let me tell you one tip one one secret that um, what happens in TCS code beta round one as per uh, you know last year and two three years back also this this thing has happened if you solve one question out of the six programming questions you are eligible enough to go to the next round so I would suggest you to actually prepare number theory because if you prepare it you will be able to crack one question completely now one question you can expect from basic uh, basic data structures like stacks queues array strings and you know you can use basic uh, stls in c plus plus or collections in java if you use it and you can crack the second question because i think that will be much easier for you to crack now one question you can expect from uh, complex data structures like graphs trees etc okay so you can expect one question from that part now uh the most important part is algorithms now there are many people who actually you know lag lag at this this part of coding and this is you know actually a little complex part also so what i would suggest is you can you know go go and check out some uh very important and known algorithms which are actually you know very known and uh, are asked multiple times so there are multiple algorithms like knapsack greedy algorithms uh backtracking all of these n queens all of these algorithms are you know very very famous very important and uh, they will like if you learn them right now they'll help you in the long run they'll help you in various exams and in various interviews because there are many questions that revolve around these algorithms and you can actually find questions around these algorithms in a number of exams that you'll be giving for you know placements in your coming journey so this is about the topics that you can prepare for tcs code beta and this is about the strategy that you can follow now you have two months you have still like almost two months to you know uh, go for your first round of tcs code beta so you have enough time to you know prepare all of these topics and uh, practice your uh, pra practice your syntax syntax in whatever language that you'll be choosing practice your syntax practice your you know codes in that language so that you are familiar with syntax moreover i would suggest that uh, 
do not do not do not copy your codes from your friends or from any websites while giving tcs code data they have a very strong plagiarism checker and if they find that your code is flagged or it has been copied by your friend or some websites or some you know platforms somewhere if you have co copied it they'll get to know it very easily and you lose your chance towards selection into tcs so i would suggest you to please please do not you know use any any of such practices to copy your code so this is about tcs code beta and the exam preparation and strategy that you can follow to crack this exam and i wish you all the very best good luck to all of you and i hope all of you crack this exam and get yourself into tcs so uh, at the last i would like to say that please like share and subscribe to our channel if you like this video share it with your friends with your family with your colleagues all of those who are into the stream bye bye take care